You think you know me. She continues to stay close to me on our walk to school. I can even feel her shoulder brush against mine a few times. I try to ignore it. <laughs> I look over to see her giggling. What's so funny? Well, I was just thinking about I just cooked my first presidential breakfast. <laughs> I guess you're right. Seeing her laugh at something so silly puts me at ease a bit. I find myself smiling, the first real smile I've had since I woke up. Don't worry, Sayori, I won't let you down. See you later. See ya, goofball. Try not to miss me too much. <laughs> My worries have twinkled quite a bit by the time we part ways. In fact, most of the anxiety I woke up with is practically gone. That is until I sit down in class. As the teacher goes about who knows what, my thoughts are pulled elsewhere. How am I going to talk to Yuri about this? No matter what I do, it will end up making her feel bad. If I can't tell her in the club, and I can't text her, what do I, what do, I do? I can't invite her somewhere because she could end up drawing attention there as well. But Yuri's mature. What are the chances she will ever make a scene? I can't imagine her yelling at me or crying uncontrollably. But I still prefer not to risk it. Ah, damn. The rest of my classes go on like this. Finally, the last period bell rings, I make my way to the club room. Okay, this is it. Wear a happy face, don't let them know anything is up. <sighs> Maximum effort! Begin to open the door. Immediately do a scan of the room as I enter. Wait, my Yuri? I don't know whether I should be a separate or leave by her absence. Hi, Lopsa. Yo, Sayori. You seem like you're in a good mood. Mm-hmm. I'm just still not used to seeing you in the club, that's all. Yeah, I guess I do have that effect. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? What does that have anything to do with I said? How are you hungry after eating that breakfast and eating lunch? Eh heh. Trying hard in class makes me takes a lot of energy, you know. I know that Natsuki is going to bring her a cookie. But I probably should try to spend as much time with her as possible. <sighs> Fine, but only because that bacon was so good. Yay! Sayori proceeds to grab my arm and pulls me, uh, pull me out of the room. We're going off script again, hooray! She drags me all the way to the vending machine at the end of the hall. I stand up waiting for her to try and kill me into buying her a snack. Sure enough, after going through her purse for a while... Hmm, <laughs> what's the matter? Well, I sort of forgot to bring my money with me today. Oh no. I proceed to begin my sarcasm act. How will you function in the club if you don't get a snack? Monica is sure to notice your declining performance. She might even think you're unfit to be vice president. I'm so so sorry, or it looks like you're gonna take a hit on this one. You don't have to be such a meanie about it. Don't worry, my this is just a payback. Pull out my wallet. Payback? Oh please. You know that you didn't have enough money for a snack. That's why you asked me to come with you, isn't it? Eh, don't forget I, I'm new to your routines now. Oh yeah, but wait, if you know about my plan, that means that you wanted to buy me a snack. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's only because of the bacon. <laughs> now, what, what would, your, would your highness like to eat? Mm, those look good. She proceeds to point at a pack of mini donuts. There's mini donuts in vending machines? Damn. Put my money into the machine and punch in the donut goat. 5C. Huh? The donut packets get stuck as the machine tries to dispense it. Of course. Ugh. 
Damn, how bad and they're stupid marking now. Now proceed to kick the vending machine, which does ca cause the donuts to fall. At the cost of what feels like a broken foot. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's important is that they fell. Because donuts is more... Because donuts... Is better than foot bones. More important, I guess. I proceed to pick up the badges out of the machine and hand it to Sayori. Thanks. But why did you get mad at the alphabet? Ah, oh, the alphabet. Oh, Albert. 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 Huh. That's not much for laughing at their misinterpretation. I'll, I'll explain it to you some other time, Sayori. But we should probably start heading back to the club. Okay. Get a great. As I look through the drinks, my attention stops on the apple juice. I just stand looking over it a few seconds. I'm not sure why. I'm fine with with looking like a unicorn. Huh? What did you say, Sayori? What? I didn't say anything. But it was sworn. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm heading hearing things. Maybe that machine messed you up. You messed up your head. Uh, I don't think that's how it works. Hmm. <clears throat> hey, I wasn't expecting the two of you to be late. <laughs> Sorry, Monica, we were just... Uh, perhaps I wanted to find a vending machine. Uh, well, I hope that he, I hope that he won. Pfft, of course I did. Nope. While the two girls are laughing at me, I noticed something. Monica seems different today somehow. Her laugh sounds so... innocent? Well then. If you think you can overcome your injuries, you should join us for festival discussions. Yeah, hope's are smart. Whoa there. Take it easy with the expect ex expectations. Hehe. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. So, what do you say? Ah, uh, sounds, sounds like a plan. Great. Would have been disappointed if a little festival plan is scared of the might of. Oh, ha ha. Can we just get to the discussing already? Something seems off while the three of us are walking to the corner. Yuri still isn't here. I hope she's okay. I try not to worry about it as I take a seat next to Monica and say Yuri. We sit talking about the festival and other school things for a while, but I can't say I'm totally focused. My brain decides that worrying about Yuri isn't enough, so it begins to worry about Natsuki too. I still haven't spent any time with her outside of poem sharing. But should I try at this point? I've already made up my mind about focusing on Sayori, but not really does seem like she's got it rough. Maybe there's something I can... Maybe there's some way I can just be friends with her. It will give her someone to confide in and share her interest with. Reading manga with, with, with me did make her pretty happy. But I can't say I didn't answer. What do you think? Huh? Oh, sorry, Monica. What was the guest question? It was, uh, do you think it's a good idea to let other people print their own poems to present? Present? Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm um, Lopsa. Is everything alright? What do you mean? Why does Monica look so concerned all of a sudden? Sorry, you just seemed a little out of out of it there for a second. Don't worry about it, I just got a little distracted is all. The girls continue talking as though the conversation never happened. I just can't figure her out. The way she acted these last few days has been so random. My train of thoughts is cut short as I suddenly have to pee. Damn, maybe I shouldn't have gotten that drink. Begin to stand up from the chair. Where are you going? Don't tell me your conversation is too much for you. Don't worry, I was just going to use the restroom real quick. 
You ladies try not to try not to be too, too distraught over my absence. <laughs> I make my way to the door and leave the room. Oh, uh, oh I'm I can always see where this is going. And we could decorate a few posters to hang around the school. That's a great idea. <laughs> I should ask her her while he's gone. They've been closer than normal. She surely to know something. Hey, so Yori, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? It's about Lopsa. Huh? Lopsa? Yeah, I was... Well... Have you noticed him acting differently lately? Differently? What do you mean? Well, it's just that he's not at all how I remember him. And I was just wondering if he may have told you something. Hmm. I guess he has been pretty hyper recently. And he did seem kind of off this morning. But I still think he's the same old Lopsa. Wait, what happened this morning? Oh, well... Damn it, just tell me already, you wordless what? You wordless what? My blood runs cold as this thought races through my head. Please, not again. Um, is everything alright, Monica? Yeah, I just thought of something. Goosebumps begin to sprout on my skin as I say this. Oh, can I ask you a question now? Huh? Of course you can. Well, I was just wondering why you asked about Lops all of a sudden. Uh, well... What should I tell her? Wait a minute! Do you have a crush on him? What? No, of course not. Why? Does he have a crush on me? Please say or you have to tell me. Monica! <laughs> I'm only joking, Sayori. I don't have a cross or lobster. You really have me there for a second. I should have teased her about that. It's clear that she has feelings for him. Even though I feel bad about this, and I also feel a little angry. I was only asking because, because now he's a club member. I feel like, I feel kind of bad that I don't know, know much about him. I just wanted to be sure that everything was okay. Oh, well, try not to worry too much, unless you like getting poked in the forehead. Huh? Poked in the forehead? Eh? <laughs> Talking about lobster so much has made the tingling feeling from yesterday begin to return. A crush on him? My heart begins to beat faster as I think about it. I have to talk to him alone, even if it's only for a moment. But how? I got it. Hey, Sayori, about those posters? Yeah? Do you think you could go get some of the supplies we need from... Um, we need from another classroom? We don't have much time left before the festival, so we should... Go ahead and get things together. Sure thing, once Lopsa gets back we can... Actually, can you go ahead without him? I'm afraid if the two of you go together you might miss out on poem sharing. Eh, I guess you're right. Oh, and don't worry if you can't carry everything. The posters, posters are what's important, just, just so focus on those. Yes ma'am, you can count on me Mr. President. I knew that I, I, knew that I could. I begin to feel a little nervous as I watch her leave the room. It'll be okay, it's only Lopsa. I've I thought this over already, there's nothing to worry about. I can do this. As I step back into the club room, I immediately notice there seems to be a shortage of Sayori. Okay. I, okay, I didn't didn't expect that to happen. I was expecting to run into Yuri. But instead of my usual routine of trying and then failing to figure out what happened, I choose to make my way towards where the three of us were sitting earlier. Hey, Monica. Where'd the, where the goofy vice president go? She went to get supplies from another class. Ah, I see. Well, we can keep talking about the festival plans if you want, but I probably won't be very helpful. That's alright, I actually wanted to talk so something else. Sure, what's up? 
Well, I... Uh, it's just that... Hmm. If I didn't think her behavior was odd before, this surely changed that. Uh, Monica? Sorry, Lopsa. I had all these conversations planned out, but, no, no, but now that we're actually talking, none of them seem good enough. Conversations planned out? Sarah like this is actually beginning to bum me out a bit. Maybe I can try to make her feel better. You don't have to worry about anything, Monica. If you're not very good at talking to people, it's perfectly fine. As crazy as it may sound, I'm no master of conversation myself. So you don't have to be nervous about speaking to me. Hey, if any guy should be the one who's scared to talk. So that's... Really nice of you to say. I feel my heart beat getting faster as she looks at me. And, well... I'm really happy that you are in the club now. I hope that she doesn't notice the red invading my cheeks. I wouldn't hope... I would hope so. It's not every day you can come across a stud like me. <laughs> and I can't, I can't say I, that I haven't enjoyed my time in the club. I've had a great time getting to know everyone better. Yeah, and I hope that we'll get to know each other even more. If she didn't notice my blush before, she definitely does now. Wait, what did it just... Before I had time to present what she said, I hit the door to the class get thrown up and I'm on my phone going off. I'm ignoring the phone because I don't care. It looks like Sayori is back. She could probably use a hand with all that stuff. I'm glad we got to talk. Yeah? Monica walks towards the door to help Sayori while I forget how to function. I miss, I mean, I'm missing. I've misinterpreted in, these things before, but... The way she said that was definitely suggestive. My entire body feels warm as I think about what I heard. If she really is into me, I might actually lose my mind. The idea of having to juggle Sayori's, Yuri's and Monica's feelings makes my head feel heavy. Sigh. Shit. Alright everyone, as my guess I wrote I noticed not to leave the closet and begin to look around. Wait, is, is Yuri still not here? Oh yeah, I was wondering where she was too. Sorry, I, I meant to tell everyone. Yuri said she had a doctor's appointment today and that she had to miss the club. A doctor's appointment? I watch as Natsuki pulls out her phone and begins to text someone. Wait, why did she have a doctor's point at this time. I hope everything is alright. Don't worry, she said it was just, just a checkup. So I'll be back for the club tomorrow. Good, I, I'm glad that it's nothing serious. <clears throat> but doctors are still kind of spooky. Everyone goes about getting their poems once the news about Yuri has been told. Natsuki still seems somewhat Something's bothering her though. Maybe she is upset that she isn't here. I know that worrying about Yuri will consume if I don't stay focused. I pull my photo on my back, make to check all the poems out there. Looks like I'll be only showing three poems again today. Now then. Why are you not letting me Monica, there we go, that's the name. Man, I'm I'm really wiped out. Oh it actually is I got like a problem is it, so check that out. Okay. Man, I really, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to continue this or not? Because my head is feeling kind of light. My throat is actually getting better now that I actually scratched my throat a bit. 
but I'm getting really tired. And I know if I continue the next time I'll go is... I assume day three of the, uh, poem sharing. So I'm, I'm not sure if I want to continue right now because my voice is dying. I've been recording for, well, eight hours minus the one hour that I took for eating. So I've been recording for non-stop for almost eight hours. So my throat is definitely taking a beating. And I'm, it was okay for <sighs> rain clouds. But I think it's gonna be okay for this, so... I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop the recording session again here, so you get like a second proper outro for the for one series, which is pretty much unheard of. So... Yeah, my, my throat is going away, so it's, it's better for us to stop. Thank you guys for watching. Next time, we'll show, I guess we'll show poems again. I wonder where Yuri is. Man, this, this mod is getting really confusing.